In this video, I wanted to walk you through the process of how to find an open circuit. Now, open circuits are pretty common and they're very easy to identify. The complaint in this circuit is that this bulb isn't working. And anytime you have a complaint that a component is not working at all, you're usually dealing with an open circuit. Okay? So let's understand this circuit here for a second. We got a fuse, we got a switch. Our switch is turning on the coil of a relay. It's a five pin relay. And when the relay's in one position, a motor's gonna turn on. When the relay's in another position, this bulb's gonna turn on. So in the position that it is right now with the relay turned off, this bulb should be on. And then when I flip the switch, motor turns on. So the motor has no problem. So we know the coil is, is doing something in here. We know this relay's doing something. And we know that there must be power and ground somewhere in here, but our bulb's still not working. So we must be dealing with an open circuit. So step one, after you've verified that, yep, something's definitely not working here, is I like to go and, and you know, obviously look at a wiring diagram, but in this situation, I don't need a wiring diagram because I'm, I'm looking at the circuit right now as a whole. Okay, but after you've done the wiring diagram and you've done your, your studying and you understand what's going on and you develop a plan, well, most plans for an open circuit, I like to begin with at the battery. I just want to make sure, does the battery have the voltage I expect it to have? And it does, which is not surprising because the motor was working just fine, okay? But after that, then you go to the load that's actually having an issue and you verify, does it have power and does it have ground? So I'm gonna keep my terminal over here on positive of the battery and I'm gonna verify, do I have ground here? And sure enough, I do. So I know that the problem of this circuit is not on the ground side. So now I'm gonna move to the battery negative and I'm gonna test, do I have positive to the bulb? And I do not, okay? So now I know ground is good, bulb is probably good. All right, we could pull it out and look at it if we want to, but we already see a problem. There's no power to this bulb. So now I'm gonna simply work my way backwards in the circuit until I find where the power source is. So this wire goes up and over, and I'm gonna to come to here and take a look at that. I still don't have power right there. So where is this wire getting its power? Well, it's getting it from this common wire being fed to the relay. So I'm gonna to go to that side and sure enough, there's our power, which makes sense because the motor gets the same power source from right here. So we know the relay is getting power, but when the relay is in this position, it's not giving power to our bulb. So we have an issue going on inside this relay. Okay, so that's our open, and we could do further testing on this relay to figure out if it's the relay itself or some sort of connection in here, but we do know our problem is right in this area of our circuit. Okay.